Welcome back to the channel for a special edition of Super Bowl Sunday with TCI. We're going to be going over my exact exit strategy and how I will be going about getting out of my AMC position when the MOAS actually does happen. So this video is probably going to be very short. It's a pretty straightforward strategy. We're also going to take a look at some of the new Russia Ukraine headlines because that is going to affect the broad markets. So if you guys find education, if not simply entertainment out of this video, hit the like button for me, subscribe to the channel as well as comment down below. If you guys also want access to all of my trades in real time and you want to stop watching your portfolio crumble in front of your eyes, hit the link down below in the pinned comment as well. Join a great trading community, but let's get into this information. So let's first start off with the Russia Ukraine headlines that we are getting out today. So we have this one Zelensky asked Biden for greater military and financial support. Ukrainian official says this was 27 minutes ago. And on top of that, pretty much everybody is recalling their citizens out of Ukraine. You now have Canada, you have uh, Cyprus. Cyprus is uh, telling their citizens to get out. Didn't even know that was a real country, to be honest with you guys. So uh, there, uh, there's that. And you do also have this. White House National Security Advisor describes what a Russian attack on Ukraine might look like. The key points of this. National Security Advisor Jake Sullivan gave a grim description Sunday of what a Russian invasion of Ukraine might look like and urged uh, urged Americans to depart the country immediately. In quotes, if there is a military invasion of Ukraine by Russia, it is likely to begin with a significant barrage of missiles and bomb attacks. It would then be followed by an onslaught of ground forces moving across the Ukrainian frontier, Sullivan said. Sullivan said that in the past 10 days, the Kremlin has accelerated its extraordinary military buildup along Ukraine's border. So there is that. You're, you're going to see a lot of fear on Monday about a possible uh, Russia-Ukraine you know, war breaking out. And, and that's going to drag on the markets. Who knows about this unscheduled, now scheduled Fed meeting that is also going to be taking place on Monday. We can only speculate as far as what that is going to mean. And, you know, if they're going to raise rates faster, you know, emergency style, if they're not going to, we don't know. So I don't want to speculate on that too much. If that does happen, get ready to see a lot of red in your portfolio and get ready to hedge out that portfolio just a little bit. So that's really all the news headlines we do have as far as right now. If something develops throughout the rest of the day, I will bring that to you guys promptly. So as far as my exit strategy, it's pretty straight forward. And I really don't have a, a certain price that I would do this at, but I am a fan of selling out something and getting your initial investment back. Obviously, when the stock is, you know, a thousand dollars per share, that might be a good start. Five thousand, ten thousand, whatever you think the price of the stock will go to before that, right? So if you know you got um let's say a hundred shares at ten dollars per share for that's gonna cost you a thousand dollars. If you can then sell one share for a thousand, get your initial investment back and hold everything for basically free. That's the way to do it. And I'm not just saying my price target is a thousand. I've been very clear. It's in between five and 10,000. I think that's reasonable considering the low price targets and the high price targets and the mental appetite to watch your portfolio go up and down, up and down hundreds of thousands of dollars once the MOS does start. But I want to also be very clear about this. It does not matter uh, you know, if you sell one or two shares to get your initial investment back, it, it, it just doesn't matter once the MOAS starts. Why is that? Because I've went over this very clearly here on this channel. And I want to also be very clear about this in this video as well. When the MOAS starts, think to January and June, there would have been a major squeeze. AMC probably would have hit thousands of dollars then if the markets had been down in the toilets. Now we're Dealing with unprecedented unprecedented times and the markets are going to fall. If we get a catalyst for AMC, if it's earnings, if it's anything else and the stock goes up, then liquidity is restricted. So those, those hedge funds that didn't have to cover last time around will be forced to cover. And then the bigger guys will also start being forced to cover because as we do know, nobody wants to cover at the top. If you have money 
to remain in your positions and service your margin calls but if you don't you are forced to cover and the brokers will exit out of those positions on the behalf of the short seller so it's like this domino effect once there's liquidity is restricted once the markets are down in the toilets that the smaller hedge funds they start covering they drive up the price the medium guys and then finally the large guys so there's going to be so much buying power it's not even going to matter if you sell a share to three, four, five. It's not going to matter in the grand scope of the amount of volume that is going to head into the stock anyways. And at this point, if you're watching this video, you're probably not a trader in AMC. You're probably not a day trader. You've probably been holding the stock for a long time. We've got most of those traders out at this current moment so at the same time as all of the covering that's going to take place you're going to see hedge funds that are buying the stock trading the stock as well as a large pool of fomo buyers that are going to come in and also buy the stock so i wanted to make that very very clear that would be my strategy sell a couple shares get my initial investment back and like i said my actual price target is five to ten thousand but i would sell a couple shares before five thousand to get my initial investment back to make it free and in the grand scope of things, it's not going to matter. It's not going to drive down the price of the stock by you doing that. And I also acknowledge that I'm probably going to get some hate in this video saying to sell a couple shares before it gets to $100,000. I get it. I'm fully willing to take that, that hit. Spread the hate down below in the comment section if you guys want to. This is what I would tell my mom. This is what I would tell the guys that are in the trading community. Link down below in the pinned comment. I'm not going to tell them something different than I would tell you guys. So if you guys like that kind of transparency, hit the subscribe button as well. But this is a strategy that I do all of the time. If I buy five or 10 options, calls or puts, and it goes up 50%, which I'm not saying this is a direct correlation to AMC, please understand that it's only an analogy. Then I sell out enough contracts to get my initial investment back to make the trade free. And then I will hold the remaining contracts and things in, in case things start to get a little crazy because with this strategy you get your initial investment back so you're safe and you can have that peace of mind that you're not going to lose your money the last thing you want is a big gain turning into a big loss or essentially losing everything in the case of options so i like to do that for those very specific reasons because at the same time you don't know how high the stock will go and you want to have as much exposure to the upside as possible but mitigate risk everything in investing is all about mitigating risk so as soon as you can get your initial investment back at a reasonable price and you don't have to sell half your portfolio you don't have to sell a lot just selling a couple shares that's the way to do it and that is the number one exit strategy there's no magic number to say hey you should sell x amount of your portfolio or, or x percentage it all comes down to you guys personally and i also like i said wanted to stress that it does not matter if you sell one two three four five shares once the MOAS happens because it is a domino effect that cannot be stopped but your ultimate goal is to mitigate risk and maximize profits and this is that number one strategy to do that so this is certainly not financial advice i'm not telling anybody to do this but this is what i do on a day-to-day -day basis there is actually a strategy called the free share method where it's exactly that if you buy 100 shares of a stock and it goes up 50 percent sell out 50 shares keep 50 for free forever to basically have just that free exposure price goes up price goes down it does not matter because you got your initial investment back and you're just sitting on pure profits after that so I wanted to make this clear I wanted to put it out there as straightforward and simple as possible and kind of show you guys the strategy that I use on a daily basis so like I said, if you guys want access to all of my trades in real time, I will let you know when I exit out of my AMC position, when the MOAS starts, link down below in the pin comment, as well as that, like I said, subscribe to the channel, like the video, all of that good stuff. Let me know in the comment section as well, who you guys are rooting for the Super Bowl. Are you rooting for the Rams or the Bengals? You know me, Matthew Stafford, baby, we're in the building. I think all of Michigan is definitely rooting for the Rams at this current moment. And it's and it's kind of ironic. Let me rant about the Super Bowl real quick. Because Matthew Stafford leaves the Lions and goes to the Super Bowl the, the, the next year. Whereas we couldn't even do it with Calvin Johnson, Titus Young, uh, all of the great players we had 
back in the day. I think Michigan's just cursed. Let me know what you guys think about all of that down below in the comment section. Thank you guys for watching. If you want to get some free stock, Mumu, we will in public down below in the description. Get yourself some free stock. It's free money. Yeah, I, I've got Starbucks. I've got Snapchat from doing that. You can get a free share of Lucid for signing up with Moomoo. Check that out. It is free 99. And that is your worst case scenario is you get some free money. So thank you guys for watching and I will see you in the next one.